I'm back with another Divi 5 update. As you may know, we are in the midst of a massive project recreating the Divi Builder, focusing on foundational improvements such as performance and extendability. I give a quick update every month to keep the community informed about our progress. Last month, I announced the release of Divi 5 Dev Beta, the second of four beta phases that will precede the launch of Divi 5. With the release of Dev Beta and the Divi 5 API complete, we are working towards the public alpha, ensuring we finish enough of Divi's core features to make that first public beta version broadly usable. We accomplished a lot this month, completing the conversion of more Divi modules, such as the accordion module, social follow module, icon module, search module, and code modules. We fixed more bugs, made more improvements, updated more docs, and continued our march towards the public alpha phase. You can swing by the blog post linked in the video description to view the full changelog. I also wanted to take a moment to discuss one of Divi 5's most significant changes, which is the removal of shortcodes and the migration towards a more modern storage format that aligns with the future of WordPress. There are several benefits of Divi 5's move away from shortcodes. First, WordPress will inevitably deprecate shortcodes as more and more users gravitate towards the new editor, and we want to stay ahead of the game. Shortcodes also have limitations that make it difficult or impossible to accomplish certain things like infinitely nested elements, and they also come with inherent problems that often rear their ugly heads, such as particular characters within the post content, breaking shortcode logic, which leads to overly complex solutions to fix the underlying issue. Shortcodes are also less performant, since parsing them can require complex regular expressions. On the other hand, our new storage format is much easier to parse, which will result in a small performance improvement. Finally, there is the issue with shortcodes being left over in the post content after moving away from Divi, which will no longer be a problem in Divi 5. If you build your website with Divi 5 and then switch to a new theme or builder, you'll start with a blank slate instead of with unwanted shortcodes in the post content. In order to make this switch, we'll need to programmatically search through your website and convert shortcodes to the new format. After you upgrade to Divi 5, there will be a migration process that you initiate to complete the conversion. Old Divi 4 shortcodes will still work with Divi 5, but they will come with a performance cost and will recommend that everyone migrate their websites and update their third-party Divi modules so that your entire website is using the Divi 5 framework. If you are building a new website in Divi 5, on the other hand, everything will use the new framework by default. Old layouts in your library or old layouts that you have exported from Divi 4 will be automatically converted to the Divi 5 format on import. That's all for this month's Divi 5 update. In other news, we have an update to Divi AI coming out in a few weeks that will allow you to generate code with AI making it easier than ever to customize Divi and its modules. For those of you who like to break free of Divi's design settings and write your own CSS, I think you're gonna find this update incredibly useful. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next update.